Hello YouTube, Real Shooting here and in today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing on my latest firearm purchase. This is the Ruger Precision Rimfire. So this one's chambered in 22 long rifle. They do also make this, of course the Ruger Precision is made in the larger calibers. But in the Rimfire series there's also a 22 Magnum and the 17. So this one here I'm pretty sure is one of the more popular ones, the 22 long rifle. Just because that round has always been a bit more plentiful. You're gonna find it everywhere and of course especially nowadays it's really hard to find the 22 Magnum or the 17 and those are always gonna cost more so of course I really wanted the 22 long rifle one of my favorite cartridges this is now my fourth firearm that shoots 22 long rifle my other 22 rifle is also a Ruger the Ruger 1022 that's a very popular firearm anyways let's get started with the unboxing if you see this little sticker here this actually was the display model. They only had this one at my local academy. And I went ahead and picked it up. I said, why not? It was only $100 more than the, the Ruger American Rimfire, which I initially was going to get. I was between the Ruger American Rimfire and a Savage Mark II. And I figured, why not get this? I mean, I had so many gift cards for academy, so that really paid for the most of it. Let's get to unboxing it anyways. So when you open this up, you got this little styrofoam here. The firearm actually comes in a big bag, but just to make it easier to show you guys, I didn't get that big bag. I took the big bag out already. And I will say, I did have the firearm already fully assembled. I just took it apart and put it back in the box just to show you guys. But I at least know how to put it back together. It's fairly simple. As you can see here, you have the firearm. There is the booklets down there, instruction manual. You have the bolt. I'll show you guys that up close. There's the bolt handle. Pretty nice. Pretty large bolt handle. You always get one of these gun locks. I've seen them always with Ruger firearms. I know there's other brands out there. They'll send it out there. You probably pile up these after you buy so many guns. And you get the 15 round. What do they call it? BX-15. I actually have two 25 round mags. So this firearm shoots the same mags as the Ruger 1022. Many of you guys know that, maybe you don't. But I have also seen some people do this unboxing where they get the 10 round mags. I guess that depends what state you live in and what laws there are. But here we're allowed to have the 15 round mag. Yep, that's Texas. And let's get the firearm out of the box now. Let me see. I will say this too, this firearm is pretty heavy. I'm not going to go over all the details. I think it's like 7 pounds. You can look up all the specs online. It'll pop up pretty easily. I think it's an 18 inch target barrel. I'm trying to hold this one handed. Let me show you guys the very end. It is threaded here. If you want to add a muzzle attachment or a suppressor. You can. As you guys can see. You just undo that. I'm just going to leave it on there. Pretty nice hand guard. M lock, you already got your Picatinny rail up here. Of course, no bolt in here. You got the Ruger logo. Very nice trigger. You're actually allowed to adjust it. There is a little tool that comes with this firearm. You turn the little Allen key in there. I can show that real quick. So, I think I found this out on accident. I was pulling back the bolt. And if you look right here, you have this little black tab here. You can pull up on either side. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. I'm going to try the... Oh, see, I pushed it back down. Yeah, you have to pull up. Here, let me lean the gun down a little. There you go. You pull up on either side. Pull this up. You can pop that right off. There's a little Allen key right here. Just sits in there. You guys can see that. And that's what you use to adjust the trigger pull. Anywhere from 5 to 2 pounds, I believe. And all that's shown to you in the user manual, which I'll show right here in the box too. Let me slide in the bolt real quick just to show you guys. Pretty easy to slide in. Racking this down is a little bit rough and I've read that online too many people saying that that will get broken in as you use the firearm more 
You guys can see that. Pretty easy to operate. You saw that? It slid forward on its own too. That's pretty smooth. You just really gotta push it down. Pretty nice bolt. Nice trigger. Highly adjustable stock. So you flip this up. I'm not gonna do it right now because I was already messing with the settings. But you can actually slide this stock left and right. You can run lower and raise the cheek rest right here, up and down. And I believe, yeah, you can also, if you really wanted to switch out this, you got two screws here. You can take this off, probably put on another one. And I've seen people switch out this grip too. If you don't like the pistol grip that it comes with, there's a little Allen key down there. That's pretty hard to see. There it is. Now let's keep going with what's in the box. Of course, the 15 round mag. Just drop it in there. And to release it, there's your mag release. Very similar to the 1022. It's a little tab. Just push it forward. Comes out pretty easily. Pretty nice. All right, the booklets that come in here. There's a little promotional ad for the join the NRA. Ruger encourages it. That's up to you. You get the little Ruger sticker. That's pretty cool. Put that in the pile of stickers I have. You get, what is this? Oh yeah, they're just promoting their Ruger website. You can buy accessories. Scope rings, triggers, grips, uh, swivels, bipods, barrels, extra mags, shooting supplies, cleaning supplies. Pretty cool. They also do give you a coupon when you buy the firearm. I don't know if that'll come in every box, but it did come in mine. And what do you get? Oh yeah, they've been showing this. If you own the old Ruger Blackhawk single six or this revolver, they want to give you and install a unique improvement. I think I had this also with my Ruger 1022 purchased a couple years ago. And there's the instruction manual. Highly recommend you read through this. You will learn a lot about the gun. The gun has many features. Let me see how I can open this. Oh yeah, one thing to note. There you can see everything on the gun. Scope base up top, upper receiver, lower receiver, magazine, the barrel, bolt handle, adjustment cam lever, check piece, butt stock. Oh yeah, the bolt stop. I didn't mention that. So when you want to take out the bolt. Oh, here we go again. Trying to do this in front of the camera. There's this little tab here that you can press down. So you would go back. I'm going to lean it down. Yeah, press down on that. And you can slide that out. Basically unlocks the bolt for you. But when you want to slide it back in, you can just slide it back in. There you go. Pretty nice. Again, nothing in the magazine. I haven't mentioned that. There is no ammo here, of course. Left that in the other room. What else can we talk about? Well, I am pretty excited to shoot this gun. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to show you guys. I was reading this earlier, and I saw they do mention they don't recommend you shoot CCI stingers. That's good to know. That's good to know. Tells you about possible malfunctions, adjusting the stock. More adjustments on the stock. Oh yeah, you can adjust the bolt if you want an extra long throw or a regular throw, how it is right now. Just to simulate the larger Ruger Precision Rimfire, or not Rimfire, the larger Ruger Precision Rifle that they offer. That way you would have a similar bolt pull if you're using this to practice for one of those. But you know, shooting is expensive, so you shoot the Rimfire one instead. Trigger group removal, removing the handguard, removing trigger assembly. You can also reverse the safety. I haven't shown you guys that. Let me show that real quick. There's your safety selector switch. Right here. Right now it's on fire. Then it's on safe. So safe is parallel to the firearm. And fire is up. Safe, fire. Very nice little trigger. You can see that right there, has that little hinge. 
before it's going to give. Let's see, let's see, what else we have? I don't want to drag out the video too long. You guys can read through this book later. It tells you how to attach the scope too, the torque specs. If you don't find it, you can find it online. They also have these nice little schematics here that show you the exploded view of different assemblies within the firearm. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I will also show you guys the scope I did pick up for this rifle. I bought a Vortex. They have a lot of good reviews lately. I've been doing the research on it and I finally decided which one I wanted. Very close to what I got on my Ruger 1022, but on that one I do have a Nikon. I believe that one is a 3 to 9 by 40. So for this firearm, I picked up the Vortex Crossfire, but this here is a 4 to 12 by 40, so a little bit higher on the magnification. That 4 to 12. And I did actually have this already on the firearm and then i took it off with the little see that i already have it on the scope rings i'll put it back on there real quick show you guys what that looks and then i'll get right back to you guys so you guys can see what it looks like with the scope mounted all right you guys and there is the firearm with the scope mounted pretty nice very heavy firearm definitely going to be bench rest shooting this at the range my First goal is to sight this in at 50 yards, get comfortable with it, and then probably go out to 75 or 100, see how it does. I forgot to mention also, uh, I did switch out this scope base here. From the factory, Ruger sends this with a 30 MOA scope rail, which is pretty, pretty, how do you call it, pretty overkill in a way. But it's definitely leaning towards shooting out further, like 200 yards and up, 200, 300. And uh, the only way you can make that scope work, that scope base work at closer distances would be to have a really high, how do you call it, high powered scope. A really good scope that would allow that much uh, elevation change because you're going to be shooting from closer and then further. So if you wanted that scope mount to work, you'd probably need a really expensive scope. But uh, this one here is not too pricey. Retails around 170 for that scope. 170, 190. I got it at Bass Pro Shops. Ordered it online. Not bad. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I do like watching unboxing, so I figured somebody probably wants to watch this. Maybe. Hopefully it was pretty good. I feel like I showed what was in the box. Not a lot of items in the box, so it's not like super exciting. But you do get to see what came in it. Basically the firearm, the magazine, the bull handle of course. And what do you call it? The instruction manual and a couple extra little booklets. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.